Hey friends, happy Monday. I am just about to lace up and head out for a run. It's like 4.45, I just got home like 15 minutes ago. So yeah, put on my running clothes and I'm about to head out. And then I have a new workout to try tonight. Uh, it's from a program called Lift 4, but it's like the pre-program. So I'm gonna give it a shot, see how it goes. outdoor run complete. I am so sweaty. It says 91% complete because it was bloated for the last time I went for an outdoor run, which was like three kilometers, but I really just wanted to get up for 20 minutes today. So made that happen and I kind of died. It's very hot. It's like four o'clock in the afternoon. And yeah, very, very warm. So I just finished my like 20 minute weightlifting workout. I took like a little clip of a couple of the moves. Uh, it was chest and shoulders today, so it was good. Um, yeah, after I got back from my run, Eric got home and we made supper. He had salmon and mashed cauliflower and roasted asparagus. Then we went on a little chapter date. We were looking for a mug that our friend Laura told us about um, to get his dad for Father's Day, but they didn't have it. Uh, but we did end up buying a bunch of books. I got um, a lot of young adult books because I love to read those in the summer. So I got Turtles All the Way Down by John Green. I got a new Sarah Dessen one that I hadn't read. I got uh, Theory of Everything that I've heard a lot of good things about by Robin Schneider. And I got one that was, I think it was called like Words of Deep Blue or something. In any case, the cover was really pretty and it had a sticker on it that said that it was recommended by a chapters employee so I was like I like that it's always a good sign so I picked that one up so yeah then I came back and I did my workout now I'm just gonna shower and probably get into bed it just got super dark here I am almost positive it's gonna start thunder and lightning very very soon oh it literally just started to rain uh, so I'm really glad I got my run in as soon as I got home from work but because I wanted to get my run in and make sure that I missed the rain, I am now going into a potluck at Eric's work. He works in a bank. Um, and I am going to be so red and gross and like still a little bit sweaty, but well, it is what it is. I got my run done. I did the same route that I did on Monday, but I managed to get it done like two minutes faster, which is pretty good seeing as it was only like 20 minutes to begin with. So I'm happy about that. Uh, and then tonight, uh, he was gonna go play mini golf after this, but somehow I think he's not gonna do that. Uh, and I'm just gonna be cleaning up around the house. That's about all I've got on the go. I was thinking I might make a spaghetti squash lasagna. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna make it tonight or if I'm gonna leave it to make it on the weekend, but that's, that's all my plans for this week. Happy Sunday. Uh, so this morning I got up and I went for a five kilometer run slash walk. Uh, I'm just getting back into running. So it was not great, but it is done, made it happen. Um, and then I went to Walmart to pick up some things. I didn't need a full grocery haul because I had gotten a lot of groceries last week. Um, but I just picked up some essentials, including like some laundry detergent because I'm definitely having like a get stuff done day today. So I'm doing all my laundry. I'm gonna get my room clean. So yeah, I just thought I'd take you along on my day. Um, I've been using Asana to uh, as like a task management system lately. And I've really been liking it because I can link my tasks to like, I have like a project called like Get Fit AF. So I can link like my meal prep to that project and then it is seen like as a task under that category, but it'll still be marked as for today. So I really am liking it just as like a personal task management system, which is like kind of weird and, but I'm weird like that. So, you know, 
oh, excuse me, <laughs> hiccup. Uh, so yeah, basically I treated myself to a Starbucks iced coffee, but I did get it half sweet. So it was just exactly what I needed after my run. Uh, I might do some yoga today too, if I have time. But yeah, I'm just gonna kind of leave you in the kitchen while I set up my meal prep and maybe do like a hyperlapse or whatever so that you can kind of see what I'm doing. Jacqueline, you can go follow her at Jacqueline Ratio or Riccio. Sorry, Jacqueline, I don't know how to say your last name. Um, gave me the idea for these adult lunch boxes, and so I made some last week, but I decided that they needed some tweaks. So this is what I made this week. So I've got crackers and some roasted garlic hummus. This is the recommended serving size of crackers according to the box. So look at how small that is. Uh, I got some deli turkey. This is extra lean turkey breast, just rolled up. There's like three slices per thing. Um, it is a little high in salt, but I drink a lot of water throughout the day and I really like having just like this lean protein that's really easy to eat and I don't have to cook anything. So I give and take, right? I've got carrot chips. Um, normally I just make carrot sticks, but I bought these meaning to bake them and then didn't. So we're gonna eat them here. Some sliced up peppers and mushrooms and a laughing cow cheese. I love laughing cow cheese. Um, each wedge of cheese is only 25 calories and it's really good, I don't know. I really enjoy eating it. Uh, I can remember having these growing up because uh, if you know anyone who's done Weight Watchers, laughing cow cheese is a big Weight Watchers thing, but I really enjoy it. And I actually buy these to make my cauliflower risotto as well because it's really nice to have a spreadable cheese um, and so yeah, I will show you my cauliflower risotto once that's all made because I am going to make some this week. But I got these containers at Walmart. They were five Canadian dollars for all five of them. And they do come with a little divider. Um, I don't like using these for hot meals most of the time because I don't like that I can't mix everything or I don't like that like if I was to put salad in this half and my hot meal in this half, I would have to eat my salad before I microwave my hot half. So, but I do really like them for these snack box style things. So yeah, this is my lunch for the week. So for the rest of my meal prep, I made cauliflower risotto. So I used two packages of this crumbled cauliflower and uh, three of the laughing cow cheese wedges. And then I just added some salt and pepper and just like essentially fried it all up on the stove until the cheese was melted and kind of coated everything. So I like using this with my suppers. Um, and so I'm gonna have this and I've got some frozen broccoli that I'll steam and then I made pulled pork yesterday uh, in the slow cooker. So I had, um, I just bought like a pre-seasoned pork loin and just threw it in for eight hours on low and then shredded it up. Had a couple bites last night, it was really good. And the other thing is, okay, this one's kind of weird, but. So for breakfast, I am going to have this spaghetti squash lasagna. You can kind of see. Um, I have always loved eating lasagna for breakfast. Like my dad would make lasagnas when I was a kid and it would be like my favorite thing to eat in the mornings. I would just like slice off some and throw it in the microwave and heat it up. I really like savory breakfasts and so I've never had any issues eating dinner food for breakfast, like I don't, whatever. Um, and so I was thinking about it and I was like, you know what, this would be a really good way to get more veggies in with my breakfast. So it's a super easy recipe. 
it's literally like four ingredients your spaghetti squash um, I buy prepackaged ragu tomato sauce um, ricotta and then there's just Parmesan on top so I made this yesterday and I just threw it straight in the fridge so that it could set because sometimes the spaghetti squash is like a little leaky um, but yeah so now I'm gonna cut this up and put it into its individual containers but this is really good and this is what I'm gonna have for breakfast so try to do some wedding DIY today um, I still have a little bit left to go but I was just testing out these paint pens to see if they would work so this is a sharpie oil paint pen oil based um, and basically I used it I just made this on Canva and then printed it out and then I just put this over top and traced it so I'm gonna finish the rest of the words but it's a little time-consuming but then this is what it's gonna look like and then we're gonna put it in a little stand so if you want to make cute signs Grab yourself a piece of acrylic. This was in the hardware store. Um, it was like three bucks. And it was in like the electrical section. Just ask someone where acrylic sheets are and I'll help you find it. Yes, yeah, so this was like three dollars. Made this for free on Canva. Got this for like three dollars. And I'm gonna be able to use it to make a bunch of different signs. So I'm pretty happy about that. I'm gonna end the vlog here. This is my first attempt at a weekly vlog, so we'll see how it goes, and hopefully they'll get better from here. But yeah, I've had a pretty productive Sunday. I did all my meal prep, which I showed you earlier, and then I got lots of laundry done. Now I'm gonna shower and put on a face mask, I think. Um, so I'm getting like quite a bit of acne like around my chin, and we have engagement pictures next week, so I would really like for that not to be there, but we'll see. Anyways, I will be back again tomorrow.